NVIDIA's director of AI, Jim Fan, introduces the concept of the physical Turing test and talks about the future of physical AI. I'll let him explain it. The physical Turing test. And the idea is like this, right? You host a hackathon party <laughs> on a Sunday night, and this is what you end up with. Uh, your partner's yelling at you, and you're like, ah, oh, damn. On Monday morning, I want to tell someone to clean up this mess and make me a very nice candlelit dinner so my partner can be happy. And then you come home to this, and you cannot tell if this was from a human or from a machine's work. Right? Simple enough, the physical Turing test. Great, so what's next? Where do we go after we solve physical AI? I would say the next thing is the physical API. You know, throughout human history, right, 5,000 years, we have much better tools, right, much better society in general, but the way we make dinner and do a lot of hand labor are still more or less the same. And maybe in the last 1% or like 50 years, we have human labor shrinking, and we have these highly specialized, highly sophisticated robot systems that can do one thing at a time, and it's very expensive to program, but they still live our, our society. The physical API moves around chunks of atoms. You basically give your software a physical actuator to change right, the physical world. And on top of this physical API, there's going to be a new economy, a new paradigm, where you have physical prompting. right? How do you instruct these robots? How do you teach them? Language sometimes not enough. You can have physical app store and skill economy. So let's say Michelin chef doesn't need to just go to the kitchen every day. He can teach a robot and then basically deliver Michelin dinner as a service. And I shall quote Jensen here again. That future, everything that moves will be autonomous. 